VirtualBox, the popular open source virtualization software, has just released version 7.1.4. This latest update is a maintenance release focused on bug fixes and incremental improvements. It follows the major update of version 7.1, launched in September, which brought a modernized user interface and several new features. Among the notable updates, the VirtualBox graphical user interface now includes the latest national language support update for Turkish, Indonesian, and Italian, ensuring broader accessibility for users worldwide. VMSBGA, VirtualBox the 4 graphics adapter, also sees a significant improvement. It now tackles a flickering black screens and other displays issues with recent Linux kernels, resulting in a more stable graphical output for Linux users. The not networking feature received a fix for restoring safe states from earlier versions, 7.0.x. Moreover, issues with the VBox manage a command line utility specifically with commands like list VMS and show VM info for inaccessible virtual machines have now been resolved. For those using Windows uh, host, a fix uh, was implemented regarding the system DLL size checking. Previously, discussed failures when running VirtualBox on Windows 11 version 24H2 and recent Insider preview builds. There is good news for Linux users as well, with initial support for Linux kernel 6.12 added in the Linux guest editions. However, it's worth noting that this kernel version introduced changes were a KVM initialized virtualization upon loading the module by default, which could prevent VirtualBox virtual machines from starting. To avoid this, users can add the this parameter to the kernel command line or unload the corresponding KVM module. Another new feature introduced for Linux ARM guest is the ability to automatically operate guest additions via the device's menu, making it easier for users to keep their systems up to date. Lastly, VirtualBox 7.1.4 also addressed uh, to regressions from version 7.1.0 affecting uh, EFI users. Uh, the missing LC logic MPTSCSI driver has been re-added, resolving boot issues from devices attached to this controller and broken network boot support under uh, EFI has been restored.